nightmare. William gives Harry a fatal blow as appearing in us in a new role causing Sussex fears. Kate and Prince William are unlikely to meet Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in the US for the Earthshot Prize Awards ceremony next year, a royal expert has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are expected to travel across the pond for William's Earthshot Prize Awards ceremony, which takes place in America in 2022. But royal author Phil Dampier said the couple are unlikely to meet the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who are living in California after quitting royal duties. Experts recently weighed in on the possible nightmare Prince William and Kate Middleton might face when they head out for their U.S. tour. This claim's been brought forward by royal expert and commentator royal author Phil Dampier. Mr. Dampier told The Sun, I don't think William and Kate would want to meet up with Harry and Meghan, who could try and steal their thunder on the Earthshot project. They are very much rivals now, not brothers in arms, and I'm afraid I can't see a reconciliation soon. If Harry dropped his book project and admitted some of his and Meghan's comments were over the top there might be some progress, but I can't see it happening. William and Kate have always been very popular in the US but have not been there for some time so they will want to boost their profile and next year, during the Queen's Platinum Jubilee year, would be a golden opportunity. Mr Dampier also said it is unlikely William and Kate will stay at Harry and Meghan's Montecito mansion, warning it would be a circus and a security nightmare. He said, if they stayed with Harry it would turn into a circus and also be a security nightmare, taking attention away from the green cause, so I expect William and Kate to concentrate on their efforts and not meet up with them. The inaugural Earthshot Prize Awards ceremony took place in London earlier this month. While Prince Harry has spoken out against the media's invasion of his privacy, and the toxicity in the press and social media directed against his wife, Meghan Markle, he has been mostly silent about the sometimes unflattering way Netflix shows have portrayed other members of his family, notably his beloved mother, Princess Diana. Critics suggest that Harry's silence has to do with the fact that he and Meghan have signed a $100 million production deal with the streaming giant, the Daily Beast's writer Tom Sykes has reported. Sykes also wrote this week that Diana's younger son is facing increasing pressure to end his silence over some of Netflix's production choices. These concerns have grown as it's been revealed this week that the fifth season of The Crown will feature an entire episode devoted to his mother's bombshell 1995 BBC interview with Martin Bashir. Among other things, the interview showed Diana discussing Prince Charles' infidelity with Camilla Parker Bowles, famously saying, there were three of us in this marriage. It was a bit crowded. The interview was the subject of a damning inquiry that found that BBC and Bashir were guilty of deceit. Bashir had manipulated Diana into doing the interview by ordering up fake bank statements to stoke her paranoia that trusted members of her and her family's staff was in the pay of the media and British security services. Both Harry and his brother, Prince William, strongly condemned the BBC at the conclusion of the inquiry. Harry argued that the interview contributed to his mother's death, saying the ripple effect of a culture of exploitation and unethical practices ultimately took her life, our mother lost her life because of this, and nothing has changed. With news that the interview will become material for the Crown's brand of highbrow historical drama, only William has expressed dismay, according to The Telegraph. The BBC, it should be noted, has not given permission for Netflix to use the content of the interview, over which it holds copyright, The Telegraph added. The Duke of Cambridge is reportedly frustrated with Netflix's plans to dramatize the interview, which he said has promoted a false narrative around his late mother's life over the years, The Telegraph reported.